Hello Colorado and the Scottish community in exile. I'm Mark, weaver with the Renscott's Living History Association. This year marks our 25th season, bringing 18th century Scottish Highland life and heritage craft to the Rocky Mountain West. In this time of global pandemic, we're especially privileged to be able to join with the Colorado St. Andrews Society in bringing you this year's 2020 Colorado Scottish Festival virtual event. Today I'm going to be weaving the Colorado tartan. We've had a tartan as a symbol of our state since 1998, and I've had the privilege of weaving this beautiful tartan at Celtic events for nearly 20 of those years. If you visit the Colorado Archive website, you can see the language that created this beautiful tartan in the House and Senate back in 98. I'm going to take you through the meaning of the colors in the Cliff Notes version of that. So here we have the black and green of our forests. Purple Mountain's Majesties. The lyrics to America the Beautiful were written right here in Colorado from the top of Pikes Peak. Tram tracks or train tracks, how people got here from so far away or how the ore was brought down from the mines by rail. And if we look at the blue section, this will look familiar to you from our flag. We have the Red Sea and the gold center on our flag together with stripes of blue. That Red Sea, when the Spanish first came through the area, they observed the color of our soil, literally that dusky red color in Spanish, the name for that is Colorado. Gold, the mineral wealth that brought so many here. Also, how about an average 300 days of sunshine a year in our state? That's a, a great amount of sunshine. I think even Florida can't claim that much. And the blue of the sky, as you might see it in the high country in the evening. So I'm going to weave the iconic flag portion of the Colorado tartan, starting in blue and then the red and gold, similar to that C with the gold center on our flag, and then finishing in blue. This will give you a sense of what the weaving goes like up to speed. So we'll start by cutting in our blue, wrap its tail around, and then I'm going to throw 28 blue. Count, but we're just going to go until the blue section is visually square. That's what your eye is going to care about. And if I'm beating evenly, we should be within a couple thread count of the actual count. About halfway there now. So you can see the weaving goes fairly fast, setting up the loom about an eight hour proposition. Weaving, on average I do it a foot an hour or more. Okay, we're just coming up on our square, two more threads. We're gonna call that square. Now I'm gonna need more blue again in just a minute, so instead of cutting it out, we'll just set it up on the castle of the loom. I'll pick up my red and we're just gonna go right around it. So we need four red. One, two, three. Same way as with the blue, we're gonna need more red in a minute. We'll put it right up with the blue. We'll do the gold around both reds. So six of these. Let's try that again. There we go. Six gold. Here I am counting, because if I was off by even a thread in these small sections, your eye would pick it up immediately. That's three, four, five, and six. Gold's done. We're going to take it back out now. We'll just bring it up through the loom, through the web of the cloth, trim it out long. We'll come back later and trim those little ends off short. Four red. Two, three, and four. Red's complete, it comes out. Trim it off long. And finish with our field of blue. About a 
third of the way there. Almost there, about two thirds maybe. Two more threads. We'll cut the blue out. And that completes the flag portion of the Colorado Tiger.